Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right behind me we have Street Sweeper. This is a 1987 Buick Grand National. Every single modification you would ever want to do to put power to the ground is in this beast. Today we're going to do a comprehensive walk around and a test drive to let you decide if you want to put this in your collection. Look at all this paperwork. It's crazy. give you a little background on this car before we start with the comprehensive walk around. This is our close friend Shane's car. He owns a great company that does racking systems so if you guys need any racking click on the link below we'll have his website there and you can order some racks. This is a top tier build. He has not spared any expense in regards to the drivetrain and motor. Motor is fresh from December of last year. 2,000 miles on it. Janus transmission and we're going to break down all of the engine components later on in this video. Overall condition, this is easily an 8 out of 10. That's a very high rating for us. We've sold over 130 Grand Nationals throughout the United States, and you can look at our feedback. We are top tier in regards to telling you exactly how a car is supposed to be or how it is currently. When you look at it, you're going to see that it is glossed throughout, so you don't have your rock guard here. Body lines are even throughout, so all of your fender gaps are very nice. Roof line's nice, and the interior is original. This does sport 104,000 miles on the chassis, but motor has less than 2,000 miles, transmission the same. This is a top tier build. We're gonna spin it around, show you the passenger side, and make you fall in love with it. We're on the passenger side right now. All the gaps are even throughout. Uh, your stickers or your Grand National emblems right here are in the proper location. Uh, the rear trunk, someone's gonna say something. It's not in the proper location, but it looks good. All of your glass is very nice. All of the black trim throughout shows well with minor imperfections. That's why we give it an eight out of 10 because it has minor imperfections for the mileage on the chassis. Underneath is extremely clean, so click on the link below to see all the underside shots. You have the signature uh, Grand National wheels with Mickey Thompson ET streets in the rear, so you can actually put that power down. This is a fully built motor by Redline Performance, Janus transmission, billet torque converter, the list goes on. This is a factory G80 car, so you have posi traction. And let me tell you something, this thing rocks even at 20 pounds of boost. You can go much higher, but 20 pounds is perfect for the street. You're going to haze the tires off in second gear. It is a blast. Rubbers look good. They did pull the glass out to paint it, and there are the typical imperfections on the roof line, and you're going to see that on the majority of these Grand Nationals unless they're extremely low mileage and have not been driven. Body line on the quarter is very nice. Once again, the rock art is gone. There is one small imperfection I forgot to mention on the driver's side front section of the door, there's a little small bubble that's happening. Otherwise, extremely clean. Let me show you the interior, and then we'll show you the spit in the trunk, and then the engine bay. Let's take a look at the interior. Interior is very nice. Seats are original. They do have a little bit of wear on them just because of the mileage. Steering wheel is in excellent condition. Does have an upgraded <laughs> horn button. Your door cards are very nice. This does have the original concert sound, power windows, power locks, power seats. The radio has been swapped out to a newer GM unit, so like a 2000 Suburban uh, head unit, so you have the ability to put a CD player in there. AC is cold. You have your boost gauge here, along with a fuel pressure gauge here, because this does have upgraded fuel components. It has 125 pound injectors, a 525 fuel pump, so you can really put that boost level up. So it has a 6266 turbo, and we'll go way more into detail when we open up the hood. Interior seat functions work as they should, so it's showing 100. 4,000 miles on the odometer. Gauges operate, scan master here, radio as I talked about before. You do have an additional set of pods here, so your trans temp and oil temperature. Everything you want to look out for when you're buying a Grand National and modifying it is done on this one. Motor has all the documentation. We have a three inch thick binder of all the paperwork. Headliner is very nice. All of your window felt are very nice. All the rubbers have been replaced around all the door seals. This is turnkey. If you guys are looking for a hot rod that's a Buick Grand National, this is it. Let's open the hood. Taking a look under the hood, we have a 3.8 liter that's fed by a 6266 turbo, RJC downpipe, RJC intercooler. You have a upgraded Be Cool radiator with electric fans, upgraded injectors, so 125 pound injectors, uh, 525 fuel pump. Motor was just rebuilt, so it has a 
balanced and blueprinted motor, all of the components that are internally done are gonna be listed in the link below. We also have a champion upper and lower intake, uh, LS1 math, so you can dial it in even better. This is a true powerhouse here. All of this is mated to a Janus transmission with a billet torque converter, and when I say it lays power down, we're gonna show you that later on today. I wanna show you the spid right now so you can see all of the factory options. We have the build sheet. We have all the owner supplements. We have the warranty book, along with a host of all documentation that was done for this beautiful Grand National. Let's show you that. Before we open the trunk and show you the spit, I wanna show you how nice the tail lights and bumper fillers are. These are replacement fiberglass fillers. The paint matches properly. All of your bumpers are in very good condition and they're even throughout. That's one of my pet peeves when I'm looking at a Grand National, the front bumpers and the rear bumpers, if they're not aligned properly. This one's done right, they shimmed it properly. You have your fuel fill here. When I open up the trunk, you're gonna have a mat kit that's in here. It's a gray mat kit. You do have the spare tire still, and then the spit is right here. This is gonna be in alphabetical order, and it'll give you all the options. This one's pretty loaded up. You have your WE2 and your G80, so for posi traction. You can also break down all of these other numericals if you go to a uh, G body forum, and they'll tell you exactly what's going on. So for concert sound, et cetera, power antenna, the whole nine yards. Before we go for a test drive, I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoy this content and you love G-Bodies, be sure to click like and subscribe below. I'm showing you the rear of this car because we break for Corvettes. We've got this amazing T-shirt here that we supply on our site. You can click on the link below and order it. We also have our Turbo 6 hat with our nice Bullet Motorsports insignia. Do it, subscribe, the whole nine yards. Let's take this thing for a spin. All right, we're gonna take this 1987 Buick Grand National out for a test drive, shift kit for sure, Janus transmission, billet torque converter, the list goes on. Interior is very nice, your air condition actually works perfectly, so I have the windows down so you can hear the exhaust today, and it is beautiful here in Florida. It's about 77 degrees, AC's blowing cold right now. You do have some aftermarket gauges here, which are very important, I think, so your oil pressure. Right now, it is at operating temperature, and we have 55 pounds of oil pressure, that's a good sign. Uh, motor was just freshened up, so we have a binder of receipts for this one. And if you look up our history on Grand Nationals, we have a problem. We've sold uh, over a hundred of these things, and uh, this is a passion car for me. This one's, we have the boost turned down a little bit because I'm gonna, this is not my car. This is one of our close friends' cars, so I don't want to beat it up like if it was mine. Headliner is very nice. Uh, the seats are original. They show very well. You do have an aftermarket, well, original style radio, and it has Bluetooth capability. So you click on a button in there, and it'll hook up to your phone or whatever device you have that's Bluetooth capable. Steering's very nice, it's not loose. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. I love it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over the Marina Mile Bridge, headed west, we'll turn around, then we'll be able to test it out a little bit. In regards to drivability, no issues. Your LEDs are working. AC works, it does have a scan master as well. Very nice driver, very, very modified, very fun. And it sounds unbelievable. Rear end is posi traction, does have a set of Mickey Thompson ET streets on it, which are gonna totally help with when this boost kicks in. Steering wheel, plastic has been replaced along with the dash plastic, which is fine. That's a common issue for anything that has a little bit higher mileage. But remember, this has basically a fresh motor and transmission in it, and your air condition works. I mean, this is a really nice turnkey cruiser. Get on it a little bit here. <laughs> oh, it sounds good. And that's just rolling into it. We're not brake boosting it. Awesome. We're gonna go to the second turnaround so I can actually accelerate with this one and show you what it'll do. We're gonna keep it out of drive. We'll put it into uh, not overdrive, which you just clicked into so that it doesn't try to shift into that gear. We're not gonna go that fast, but if you're gonna ever race this thing or drive it aggressively, always take it out of overdrive. Thank you, Mr. Pollock, for giving us this beautiful machine to test out and list up for sale. I'm very excited for this moment. All right, let's test out the acceleration. We'll do it in a second. Ready? Feels good. I didn't even have to warm the tires up. Let's do a little bit more of a rolling. Oh, yeah.
Yeah, that's nice. Shift was beautiful too. We're gonna turn here, we're gonna go over the signature bumps, let you decide if this is something you wanna put in your collection or in your garage. Give us a call at 954-363-2261. Once we go over the bumps, we'll get to our closed off area and I can give it a little bit more from first to second. But right now, great oil pressure, it's running really nice, transmission feels great. No rubbing at all. Here comes the first set of bumps. Let's turn our lights on. Big dip, let's see if it rubs. No rubbing at all. Nice little rocket ship here. Buick for the win, baby. Buick Grand Nationals, T-types, everything that has this motor in it is unstoppable, especially today's in today's world for muscle cars. But if you have any questions, give us a call. I'm out of here.